This is Insight with O, sharing what I found helpful in my healing and trauma recovery journey. Let's dive into my Awareness 5 way of life practice, starting with A. The Awareness 5 is an awareness practice to facilitate improved well-being that really helped me. Five techniques I use to support transformation in how I live in the moment and how I am in the world around me. A practice of self-awareness, self-resilience and self-empowerment. Let's dive into the first practice. A. Actualize. Taking time to reflect on what's really going on here. Can you step away from your instinctive narrative and default thinking patterns that you may adopt? For example, I just don't have what it takes. I'm just not attractive. They think I'm useless. I'm too needy. Or I will never make it to my dream. Can you open to the deeper source of this experience? Take the time before you form a belief. So often the mind will look to problem solve, find a conclusion, or want to believe in a reason for what is happening to us. So often our interpretation and understanding of what's happening to us in this moment is actually just not true. So often there is no reason, and it's our relationship to our experience that is informed from our past experiences. For example, if all previous partners have left you, you may start to believe you're inherently not lovable, or you struggle to commit, or people just get bored of you. Perhaps you could pause just briefly and ask, what is actually going on here? This is not meant to be something you do for days and days in an overthinking manner, but more a reflection based on what's happening in the moment. A reflection that is not informed by the past or fear of what will happen next in our aid to protect ourselves. Feel into your body sensations. Notice racing thoughts as they enter and exit your mind. Be curious about the other person's responses or actions. Seek to notice how it would feel to think about this situation differently. How does that feel? The classic technique is to say, wow, I was just triggered, annoyed or affected by that person or situation. By doing that, you become the witness to the experience rather than being the experience entirely. You can feel empowered to say, Okay, I'm not faulty, broken, or bad. I have responded in an act of survival, self-preservation, or need to be seen and or accepted. You can now use this empowered way to look at the world and your place in it as something flexible, adaptable, and compassionate. So often things are not what they are perceived to be from our programmed thinking patterns. Ask yourself, what is actually going on here? Thank you for listening to Insight with O. We'll be back next time to look at W, the power of words and how thoughts are not facts. Look out for the latest Awareness Space podcast episodes and come say hi on Instagram. Thank you for listening and exploring human experience. Thank <laughs> you.